fabulous people welcome to another episode of fashion street as you can see it's all about high fashion international brands and fashion empires with us today is the amazing dennis of d and d clothing dennis Hi. welcome to set thank you so much all right thank you for having us yeah, <laughs> this is good. We are here and it is amazing what you're doing. I mean, there's a whole international production that you have created here in Nairobi. And I mean, this is a fast of a fashion empire, trailblazing into a new industry. <laughs> I'm flattered. <laughs> flattered, but yes. uh, I mean, it's true. Mm. Tell us what started your journey and why Nairobi? Wow. Okay. Um, before we came to Nairobi, um, in Nigeria, I was uh, making Nigerian movies. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, you know, from costume, something came into you and uh, said, uh, we can do more than just uh, receiving Western products, even when we are doing our own local uh, mm. Nigerian movie. So I decided to leave for Europe. Yeah. I uh, do my feasibility studies and after that, that is where I form my team. So our first place to start was Dubai. We started in Dubai in 2015. We started by uh, using Ankara, Ketenge. Then we see how people were welcoming our own design and how everybody were saying your brand is very good. Visibility study. Yes. yes, yes. <laughs> and from this, we decided now to go beyond just tailoring and uh, uh, just having only a few people. Because in Dubai, we started by custom made only. Mm -hmm. And uh, we decided now to say, okay, if uh, you know, if we can be able to use Ankara to uh, cocate into Western and so why don't we now turn this Ankara to Western and kind of wear and at the same time to serve Africa. So that is how we started then with them our brandy and the clothing. Mm -hmm. Then we see from that one people are saying, oh, you know, all that start coming from US, all that start coming from London and uh, that is how we started. That is, that is the conception of D&D. &D. Yes. So two interesting things. Fashion from film. Isn't that interesting? From creation of costume designs in creating you know, authentic African films. And you're like, wait, we can have African culture infused into modern day clothing with craftsmanship. Yes. This is amazing. Yes. Because I came and guys, D&D &D is a full house production. There's a photo area, there's a whole display, there is production like crazy upstairs. And I just have to say, Dennis, it's amazing to see fashion brands really empowering young Kenyans and, you know, revolutionizing employment and uh, transfer of skill set. That is exactly even our motive, why we decided to um we bring in little uh, foreign expatriates yes. to train our local uh, content so that we can be able to give the world as well a quality finishing. Yes. And that is why we decided now to establish uh, our production center here in Kenya. Uh, from here, now we can produce up to three to 5,000 uh, products in a month as a start. So we see exactly how we can grow from that. Three to 5,000, Dennis. Yes. This is production on a whole new level. Yeah. This is amazing. And this is production uh, including young Kenyan, um, you know, young Kenyan students, young Kenyan craftsmen, basically employing Kenyans. Yes. And yes, that's the yes, best yes, part. Yes, yes, and yes, yes. it's funny that you would mention skill set and finishing because that has always been one of the, you know, bigger problems, you know, especially for the Kenyan uh, fashion industry. It's how do you get the finishing to par? You know, the creativity is there, but how do you bring the finishing to international standards? Yeah, you see, um, this is not happening only in Kenya, in Africa, because you can only give what you have. You understand? And most Africans, you know, we believe in only uh, theory, not practical. But here, <laughs> yeah, because we can read, we can write, we can do things, but the fact is that make it happen. 
And that is why you see, even today, you see a professional, uh, uh, a teller will come and tell you, I can yeah. do this, I can do that. But when he or she comes, now find out that there's a lot to learn. Mm -hmm. Because uh, attention to details matters. You understand? And if you cannot be able to give quality, we can be proud that, yeah, this is made in Africa. Well, Dennis, this is some of the things that I love about your brand. And a highlight is how your transparent skill set. So you're actually training your staff, and it's a big staff. Yeah, actually, this is uh, even my uh, main uh, aim, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, my aim is to see Africa doing something that is eggs in any way in the world. So that is why we decided to come with different uh, expert traits. We have Italian designers here, we have some from Russia, we have Asia. Amazing. So what we do is training our local people to make sure that they can be able to stitch same standard that you can find in Armani, in Hugo Boss, in any big brand. That's exactly what we're doing now. And really, really a lot of Kenyans are doing well. Yes, Yes, wow. they are picking up very fast. Dennis, that's amazing. So you are actually, like this is an opportunity to get trained by an Italian craftsman. Yes. I mean, a Russian craftsman. Yes. This is new level. Yes. And I mean, this is what we were talking about earlier when it comes to production, like the design versus the delivery. You actually cover a whole range of production, but a highlight category for you has been weddings and the wedding gowns. Yeah, because you see, we started by uh, custom made, and even in Kenya here now, I'm already doing four to five weddings every week. A week? Yeah, even in Kenya here, because uh, you see, a lot of people, you, before we came to Kenya, mm -hmm. a lot of Kenyans fly to Dubai and come for wedding in my place. That is true. Yeah, I have oh, really? Coming, yeah, I have people coming from Uganda, from Rwanda. I've done a lot of wedding in Kenya before I came to Kenya, and you see, in Africa, sometimes we desire something, but we don't even know how to finish that. So that is exactly what also we're telling people that whatever you have, we can do that for you. We're doing now a lot of custom made here mm, in Kenya. I love it. I, you know, uh, I love the aesthetic of your gowns because they're not only narrowed to one thing. And I love how you mix the modern and the African because we get all these amazing versions of what can be bridal. It's not really, you know, uh, curtailed into one box of thinking. And what is your experience with the Kenyan wedding market? And what would you advise a bride who's watching now maybe, or a groom, and they want to come in for a booking in terms of time, you know, uh, when should I start, da da da. I have a lot of comments from, <laughs> from, from Kenyans because you see, Kenyans are attention to details, especially those that want to afford money. So when they give you this money, you need to give them exactly as they, you know. So in Kenya here, I have not done any job that people did not appreciate. They are, they, they, they are happy, they love it, and uh, referrals start coming from that because when you're good, it will reach the other ones. So that is how, even up to now, we didn't launch yet. We didn't do official opening yet, which we're planning before the end of the year. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to launch uh, for Kenyans to see that, yes, Kenyans are doing great here. Yeah, for because sure. we want to make sure that everybody is perfect before we hit the road. Oh my goodness, yes. for sure. Yes. This is amazing, this is amazing. And you know, of course, our tip for the bride, we need one tip for the bride coming in. It's a beautiful time for them. You know, the, 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 the joy of all is you have a place now to fill your gap. Mm. That is it. The Andy clothing is here to serve mm -hmm. you. So this is for all the particular brides out there. Yeah. You have an idea, you have you want an outrageous or unique wedding gown, come to DD clothing. And guys, I, I'm feeling relaxed, I'm feeling comfortable. So make sure you look up Dennis. Thank you guys and uh, thanks for coming. <laughs> thanks a lot. Yeah. Oh, my dad.